Huh? Okay, so this is very, very important. Okay? In Psalm chapter 121, verse 2, my help will come from the Lord who made heaven and earth. This is just a preparation of the highlights of our happy chapter. Isaiah 26, verse 4, trust in the Lord forever. He will always protect us. Not situational, not by circumstance. Okay, in other version, trust the Lord always. Always, all the time. Deuteronomy 31 verse 8, this is one of the people of Mr. Evelyn. No? Uh, I remember this uh, during our sharing. Okay, the Lord Himself will lead you and be with you. He will not fail you or abandon you. So do not lose courage or be afraid. You know the reason? Now I can see the message of the Lord by me. Uh, he, he guided us in that workshop. Please. The reason why we're getting tired or you know somehow we lost our enthusiasm, you know, our 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 fire in serving the Lord because of the number two. Because of the number two. When you hear this from K, sometimes it's still tolerable when we hear this from the ordinary member. But when you hear this word from your elder, from your spiritual director, from your spiritual advisor, from the people whom you're respecting, are respected, no? So much. Okay? Then you hear those words, okay? What is our uh, human reaction? Our human reaction is we lose our appetite, we lose our enthusiasm, we lose our fire. Okay? We are affected. Hmm? You're not too excited for, for this afternoon. Okay. But anyway, we will be there. We will be there. I hope we will still be there. In Matthew 6, 25, 34, now listen to me. God has a very important message of this uh, gospel. In Matthew 7, chapter 6, verse 25 to 34. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what, to, what you will wear, wear. Is not life, is not life more important than food? And the body more important than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not talk or read or store away in words. And then we have to mother is that Are you not much more valuable than they? Who are you by worrying he can add a single hour to his life? That's why worrying is an inability to another God. Many times. Worrying is an insult to God. Because every time you worry, what do you think it is an insult to God? Because every time you worry, God is asking you, where is your faith? I think you believe in the echo. You believe that every truly everything works for good for those who love me. For those who love the Lord. I can feel the one for the Lord. For one of the spirit. Praise God. Okay. So every time we worry, okay, you know what we're showing? It is out of God. It is it is uh uh, what, what they were offend, uh, offending to God. Every time we worry. That's why they say, oh God, let's put those aside. You need to internalize it. Every time you said that, you need to internalize it. That truly, the Lord, you don't understand what's going on, why these people send this to me, why they are reacting this way to me. But Lord, I believe everything works for good for those who love you. I believe, Lord, that I trust you, Lord, huh? that you will not allow us this to happen, that it will not do good for me. Hello? 